Welcome back. In Manatee County, tree limbs and other debris are still sitting on curbsides following Hurricane Irma. It's estimated the storm caused more than 1 million cubic yards of debris. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo shows us how the county plans to pick it all up. Well, guys, the pile of debris you see behind me is pretty much a common sight all over Manatee County. Now, county officials say that this debris may take a while to clean up and may cost the county millions. Like many other Manatee County residents, Lori Cousins returned home from fleeing Hurricane Irma and found this tree on top of her home. Now, a week after the storm, the tree now sits at the side of her home in pieces. She admits it's a bit of an eyesore, but realizes it's not as bad as it seems. So, I mean, we could have had it so much worse with flooding and power outages, or we could have been like Puerto Rico and gotten completely decimated. Manatee County Utilities Public Affairs Liaison Amy Pilsen says Cousin may be waiting a little longer to have it cleared. It's hard to gauge and we're just one week into the actual collection process so we're hoping to have a little bit better of an idea once we see the amount of time that the process is taking and how quickly we're able to advance. And the cost Pilsen says could be 27 million dollars. Hiring monitors that are required to the hauling, the equipment, the disposal, the transportation. Pilsen says residents should be separating their debris into three different categories. Vegetative waste, like trees and branches. Demolition debris, like drywall. And household appliances. When completed, Pilsen expects the county to receive 80 to 90 percent of federal reimbursements. You know, it still won't cover the entire cost of it, but it is going to be able to contribute a great portion if we comply and, and meet all of the regulations. As a taxpayer, it's something Cousins is happy with, but hopes it gets picked up sometime soon. It's uh, at some point, you know, if it's months and months, I can't necessarily say that I won't start taking pieces of it and start maybe having a little s'mores party. Now, county officials say a FEMA reimbursement may take a while due to the recovery efforts in Houston and the Caribbean. Reporting in Manatee County, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.